One. Listen and practice. One. Sarah, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Max. She's practicing. What are you practicing, Sarah? I'm practicing my speech. Your speech? Are you giving a speech? Yes, I'm in a speech contest. Really? What is your speech about? Listen and find out. <laughs> okay. So, what do you think? Your speech is good. Really? Yes, but... But what? You are too serious. Smile. Tell a joke. A joke? I don't know. How long is your speech? Four minutes and 20 seconds. How long can your speech be? Five minutes. Then you can tell a joke. Record your speech, too. Then you can listen to it and make it better. Okay. And practice your speech at the diner. More people can hear it. Great idea. When is the contest? It is next week. I can practice a lot before then. You can. Everyone can hear your speech again and again and again. <laughs> and... <laughs> We're ready, Sarah. You can begin your speech now. But Betty isn't here yet. She'll be here soon. I have an idea. Give your speech now, then give it again when she comes. Okay. Thank you all for coming to listen to me. Sure. We're happy to listen. After my speech, please give me some advice. We will. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me, do you like bicycles? Yes! Shh. <laughs> then maybe you can answer my question. Why can't bicycles stand up without help? Good question. Because they are too tired. <laughs> Tired. Bicycles have two tires. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but not that funny. No one laughed but Simon. Hmm, maybe I need a different joke. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I brought a new friend with me. Welcome. Thank you. He's visiting our town. You look just like Roger Young, the famous singer. He is Roger Young, the famous singer. <gasps> nice to meet you, everyone. What are you doing in small town? I'm going to be a judge for the speech contest tomorrow. <gasps> You are a judge? Oh, no. What's wrong? I'm in the speech contest. I can't speak in front of someone famous. Sure, you can. Forget about me. Just prepare well. Where are you staying? With my uncle. I'm only in town for two days. He came to the post office. I asked him to come here to meet my friends. So what are the contest rules? Each person can speak for five minutes. Then judges give points for the speaker's ideas and presentation. What does the winner get? Five hundred dollars. Wow. Can I ask you something, Roger? Sure. Will you sing for us? Sure. I'll sing for you today. And Sarah will speak for me tomorrow. Okay.
three. Simon, they're here. Congratulations, Sarah. You're a winner. I didn't win the contest. But you did a fantastic job. And you will always be a winner to us. Oh, thanks. So, tell us about the contest. Were you nervous speaking in front of a big audience? I would have been so nervous. <laughs> Renee, let Sarah talk. Right, sorry. I was nervous. Did I seem nervous? No, you looked calm and confident. Thanks. I had fun. When the audience laughed at my joke, I felt great. <laughs> it was a funny joke. <laughs> so, did the judges like your speech? Did they like your outfit? I helped her choose it. They didn't say anything about my clothes, but they said I expressed myself well. I'm not surprised. You express yourself well when you write, too. Thank you, Simon. The judges also told me how I can improve. That's great. Hey, Simon, thanks for helping out here so I could go to Sarah's contest. You're welcome. I'd rather cook than listen to speeches. <laughs> so would I. But I loved Sarah's speech. <laughs>1. Sarah, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Max. She's practicing. What are you practicing, Sarah? I'm practicing my speech. Your speech? Are you giving a speech? Yes, I'm in a speech contest. Really? What is your speech about? Listen and find out. <laughs> okay. So, what do you think? Your speech is good. Really? Yes, but... But what? You are too serious. Smile. Tell a joke. A joke? I don't know. How long is your speech? Four minutes and 20 seconds. How long can your speech be? Five minutes. Then you can tell a joke. Record your speech, too. Then you can listen to it and make it better. Okay. And practice your speech at the diner. More people can hear it. Great idea. When is the contest? It is next week. I can practice a lot before then. You can. Everyone can hear your speech again and again and again. <laughs> and... <laughs> We're ready, Sarah. You can begin your speech now. But Betty isn't here yet. She'll be here soon. I have an idea. Give your speech now, then give it again when she comes. Okay. Thank you all for coming to listen to me. Sure. We're happy to listen. After my speech, please give me some advice. We will. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me, do you like bicycles? Yes! Shh. <laughs> then maybe you can answer my question. Why can't bicycles stand up without help? Good question. Because they are too tired. <laughs> Tired. Bicycles have two tires. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but not that funny. No one laughed but Simon. Hmm, maybe I need a different joke. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I brought a new friend with me.
welcome. Thank you. He's visiting our town. You look just like Roger Young, the famous singer. He is Roger Young, the famous singer. <gasps> nice to meet you, everyone. What are you doing in small town? I'm going to be a judge for the speech contest tomorrow. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you are a judge? Oh, no. What's wrong? I'm in the speech contest. I can't speak in front of someone famous. Sure, you can. Forget about me. Just prepare well. Where are you staying? With my uncle. I'm only in town for two days. He came to the post office. I asked him to come here to meet my friends. So what are the contest rules? Each person can speak for five minutes. Then judges give points for the speaker's ideas and presentation. What does the winner get? Five hundred dollars. Wow. Can I ask you something, Roger? Sure. Will you sing for us? Sure. I'll sing for you today, and Sarah will speak for me tomorrow. Okay. Three. Simon, they're here. <clears throat> Congratulations, Sarah. You're a winner. I didn't win the contest. But you did a fantastic job. And you will always be a winner to us. Oh, thanks. So, tell us about the contest. Were you nervous speaking in front of a big audience? I would have been so nervous. <laughs> Renee, let Sarah talk. Right, sorry. I was nervous. Did I seem nervous? No, you looked calm and confident. Thanks. I had fun. When the audience laughed at my joke, I felt great. <laughs> it was a funny joke. <laughs> so, did the judges like your speech? Did they like your outfit? I helped her choose it. They didn't say anything about my clothes, but they said I expressed myself well. I'm not surprised. You express yourself well when you write, too. Thank you, Simon. The judges also told me how I can improve. That's great. Hey, Simon, thanks for helping out here so I could go to Sarah's contest. You're welcome. I'd rather cook than listen to speeches. <laughs> so would I. But I loved Sarah's speech. <laughs> One. Sarah, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Max. She's practicing. What are you practicing, Sarah? I'm practicing my speech. Your speech? Are you giving a speech? Yes, I'm in a speech contest. Really? What is your speech about? Listen and find out. <laughs> okay. So, what do you think? Your speech is good. Really? Yes, but... But what? You are too serious. Smile. Tell a joke. A joke? I don't know. How long is your speech? Four minutes and 20 seconds. How long can your speech be? Five minutes. Then you can tell a joke. Record your speech, too. Then you can listen to it and make it better. Okay. And practice your speech at the diner. More people can hear it. Great idea. When is the contest? It is next week. I can practice a lot before then. You can. Everyone can hear your speech again and again and again. <laughs> and... 
two. We're ready, Sarah. You can begin your speech now. But Betty isn't here yet. She'll be here soon. I have an idea. Give your speech now, then give it again when she comes. Okay. Thank you all for coming to listen to me. Sure. We're happy to listen. After my speech, please give me some advice. We will. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me, do you like bicycles? Yes! Shh. <laughs> then maybe you can answer my question. Why can't bicycles stand up without help? Good question. Because they are too tired. <laughs> I don't get it. Too tired. Bicycles have two tires. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but not that funny. No one laughed but Simon. Hmm, maybe I need a different joke. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I brought a new friend with me. Welcome. Thank you. He's visiting our town. You look just like Roger Young, the famous singer. He is Roger Young, the famous singer. <gasps> nice to meet you, everyone. What are you doing in small town? I'm going to be a judge for the speech contest tomorrow. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you are a judge? Oh, no. What's wrong? I'm in the speech contest. I can't speak in front of someone famous. Sure, you can. Forget about me. Just prepare well. Where are you staying? With my uncle. I'm only in town for two days. He came to the post office. I asked him to come here to meet my friends. So what are the contest rules? Each person can speak for five minutes. Then judges give points for the speaker's ideas and presentation. What does the winner get? $500. Wow. Can I ask you something, Roger? Sure. Will you sing for us? Sure. I'll sing for you today, and Sarah will speak for me tomorrow. OK. Three. Simon, they're here! <clears throat> Congratulations, Sarah! You're a winner! I didn't win the contest. But you did a fantastic job. And you will always be a winner to us. Oh, thanks. So, tell us about the contest. Were you nervous speaking in front of a big audience? I would have been so nervous. <laughs> Renee, let Sarah talk. Right, sorry. I was nervous. Did I seem nervous? No, you looked calm and confident. Thanks. I had fun. When the audience laughed at my joke, I felt great. <laughs> it was a funny joke. <laughs> so, did the judges like your speech? Did they like your outfit? I helped her choose it. They didn't say anything about my clothes, but they said I expressed myself well. I'm not surprised. You express yourself well when you write, too. Thank you, Simon. The judges also told me how I can improve. That's great. Hey, Simon, thanks for helping out here so I could go to Sarah's contest. You're welcome. I'd rather cook than listen to speeches. <laughs> so would I. But I loved Sarah's speech. 
<laughs> Two. Listen and practice. Betty, you're my favorite customer. I know. You say that all the time. Well, it's true. Anyway, I have something special for you. You're going to love this. You say that every time, too. Well, I'm sure about it this time. This is perfect for you. Okay, what do you have? Eye cream. Eye cream? Yes, I've noticed you looked a little tired the past few weeks. Really? Yes, you have dark circles under your eyes. Excuse me? You have dark circles under your eyes. And they keep getting darker. So this cream will help my dark circles? Yes. You just take a little cream and put it under your eyes. Here, let me show you. Uh, no thanks, you. Oh, okay. Well, I also have something for those lines on your face. What lines? Your wrinkles. Don't you want to look younger? You? I think you should go. Why? Did I say something wrong? Yes. Don't ever talk about my dark circles or wrinkles again. Now go! Okay. Okay. I'm going. But I'll be back. Betty, you're my favorite customer. I know. You say that all the time. Well, it's true. Anyway, I have something special for you. You're going to love this. You say that every time, too. Well, I'm sure about it this time. This is perfect for you. OK, what do you have? Eye cream. Eye cream? Yes, I've noticed you looked a little tired the past few weeks. Really? Yes, you have dark circles under your eyes. Excuse me? You have dark circles under your eyes. And they keep getting darker. So this cream will help my dark circles? Yes. You just take a little cream and put it under your eyes. Here, let me show you. Uh, no thanks, you. Oh, okay. Well, I also have something for those lines on your face. What lines? Your wrinkles. Don't you want to look younger? You? I think you should go. Why? Did I say something wrong? Yes. Don't ever talk about my dark circles or wrinkles again. Now go! Okay. Okay. I'm going. But I'll be back. Betty, you're my favorite customer. I know. You say that all the time. Well, it's true. Anyway, I have something special for you. You're going to love this. You say that every time, too. Well, I'm sure about it this time. This is perfect for you. OK, what do you have? Eye cream. Eye cream? Yes, I've noticed you looked a little tired the past few weeks. Really? Yes, you have dark circles under your eyes. Excuse me? You have dark circles under your eyes.
and they keep getting darker. So this cream will help my dark circles? Yes. You just take a little cream and put it under your eyes. Here, let me show you. Uh, no thanks, you. Oh, okay. Well, I also have something for those lines on your face. What lines? Your wrinkles. Don't you want to look younger? You, I think you should go. Why? Did I say something wrong? Yes. Don't ever talk about my dark circles or wrinkles again. Now go. Okay. Okay. I'm going. But I'll be back. Betty, you're my favorite customer. I know. You say that all the time. Well, it's true. Anyway, I have something special for you. You're going to love this. You say that every time, too. Well, I'm sure about it this time. This is perfect for you. Okay, what do you have? Eye cream! Eye cream? Yes, I've noticed you looked a little tired the past few weeks. Really? Yes, you have dark circles under your eyes. Excuse me? You have dark circles under your eyes. And they keep getting darker. So this cream will help my dark circles? Yes. You just take a little cream and put it under your eyes. Here, let me show you. Uh, no thanks, you. Oh, okay. Well, I also have something for those lines on your face. What lines? Your wrinkles. Don't you want to look younger? You, I think you should go. Why? Did I say something wrong? Yes. Don't ever talk about my dark circles or wrinkles again. Now go. OK. OK. I'm going. But I'll be back. Betty, you're my favorite customer. I know. You say that all the time. Well, it's true. Anyway, I have something special for you. You're going to love this. You say that every time, too. Well, I'm sure about it this time. This is perfect for you. Okay, what do you have? Eye cream! Eye cream? Yes, I've noticed you looked a little tired the past few weeks. Really? Yes, you have dark circles under your eyes. Excuse me? You have dark circles under your eyes. And they keep getting darker. So this cream will help my dark circles? Yes. You just take a little cream and put it under your eyes. Here, let me show you. Uh, no thanks, you. Oh, okay. Well, I also have something for those lines on your face. What lines? Your wrinkles. Don't you want to look younger? You, I think you should go. Why? Did I say something wrong? Yes. Don't ever talk about my dark circles or wrinkles again. Now go. OK. OK. I'm going. But I'll be back. Three.
Listen and practice. 1. Hi, Sarah. Are you watching World Traveler? Yes. Today's show is about subways around the world. Oh, which one are they talking about now? They are talking about the Paris subway. What are they saying about it? Paris's subway is more than 100 years old. Wow. That's old. Yes, it is. Is the Paris subway good? Yes, it's convenient. Every building in the city is close to a subway station. That's great. Is it expensive? Mm, I don't know. One ride costs 1.40 euros. That's not bad. That's about two dollars. Oh, they are talking about Tokyo subway now. Wow, the Tokyo subway is nice. They have 282 stations, and the trains are really clean. Yes. Now I am wondering about other cities' subways. Go on the internet. You can read more about subways around the world. Then I can write a report about them. Good idea. Two. Thanks for coming over, Renee. No problem. So you need help with your report? Yes. I'm writing a report about public transportation in big cities. Cool. How can I help? You're from Chicago. Did you use public transportation there? Yes, I used it all the time. Great. Tell me about it. When I lived in Chicago, I took the subway to work. It's the third busiest subway in America. I read about it. <laughs> yes, and people called it the L. Interesting. Do you like public transportation? Well, there are good things and bad things about it. What are the good things? Public transportation is convenient. Chicago's L has 144 stations. I took the subway all over the city. London subway has even more stations. It has 275 stations. Wow, that is really convenient. Public transportation is also cheap. You really don't need to drive a car. So you also save money. Right, because you don't need to pay for gas. You can also save time when you use public transportation. Sometimes, Taking the subway is faster than driving in traffic. That's good. Okay, now, what are the bad things? Well, many people use it. Sometimes you can't find a seat on the subway. So it can be very crowded. Right. You also need to walk or take a bus after the subway ride. Hey, girls. Hi, Max. You are late. What took you so long? My car wouldn't start. Oh, no. Too bad we don't have public transportation in small town. Yeah. I had to use the traditional way of traveling. The traditional way? What is that? Walking. One. Hi, Sarah. Are you watching World Traveler? Yes. Today's show is about subways around the world. Oh, which one are they talking about now? They are talking about the Paris subway. What are they saying about it? Paris's subway is more than 100 years old. Wow. That's old. Yes, it is. Is the Paris subway good? Yes, it's convenient. Every building in the city is close to a subway station. That's great. Is it expensive? Mm, I don't know. One ride costs 1.40 euros. That's not bad. That's about two dollars. Oh, they are talking about Tokyo subway now. Wow, the Tokyo subway is nice. They have 282 stations, and the trains are really clean. Yes. Now I am wondering about other cities' subways. Go on the internet. 
You can read more about subways around the world. Then I can write a report about them. Good idea. Two. Thanks for coming over, Renee. No problem. So you need help with your report? Yes. I'm writing a report about public transportation in big cities. Cool. How can I help? You're from Chicago. Did you use public transportation there? Yes, I used it all the time. Great. Tell me about it. When I lived in Chicago, I took the subway to work. It's the third busiest subway in America. I read about it. <laughs> yes, and people called it the L. Interesting. Do you like public transportation? Well, there are good things and bad things about it. What are the good things? Public transportation is convenient. Chicago's L has 144 stations. I took the subway all over the city. London subway has even more stations. It has 275 stations. Wow, that is really convenient. Public transportation is also cheap. You really don't need to drive a car. So you also save money. Right, because you don't need to pay for gas. You can also save time when you use public transportation. Sometimes. Taking the subway is faster than driving in traffic. That's good. Okay. Now, what are the bad things? Well, many people use it. Sometimes you can't find a seat on the subway, so it can be very crowded. Right. You also need to walk or take a bus after the subway ride. Hey, girls. Hi, Max. You are late. What took you so long? My car wouldn't start. Oh no! Too bad we don't have public transportation in small town. Yeah, I had to use the traditional way of traveling. The traditional way? What is that? Walking. One. Hi, Sarah. Are you watching World Traveler? Yes. Today's show is about subways around the world. Oh, which one are they talking about now? They are talking about the Paris subway. What are they saying about it? Paris's subway is more than 100 years old. Wow, that's old. Yes, it is. Is the Paris subway good? Yes, it's convenient. Every building in the city is close to a subway station. That's great. Is it expensive?、Mm, I don't know. One ride costs 1.40 euros. That's not bad. That's about two dollars. Oh, they are talking about Tokyo subway now. Wow, the Tokyo subway is nice. They have 282 stations, and the trains are really clean. Yes. Now I am wondering about other cities' subways. Go on the internet. You can read more about subways around the world. Then I can write a report about them. Good idea. Two. Thanks for coming over, Renee. No problem. So you need help with your report? Yes, I'm writing a report about public transportation in big cities. Cool. How can I help? You're from Chicago. Did you use public transportation there? Yes, I used it all the time. Great. Tell me about it. When I lived in Chicago, I took the subway to work. It's the third busiest subway in America. I read about it. <laughs> yes. And people called it the L. Interesting. Do you like public transportation? Well, there are good things and bad things about it. What are the good things? Public transportation is convenient. Chicago's L has 144 stations. 
I took the subway all over the city. London subway has even more stations. It has 275 stations. Wow, that is really convenient. Public transportation is also cheap. You really don't need to drive a car. So you also save money. Right, because you don't need to pay for gas. You can also save time when you use public transportation. Sometimes taking the subway is faster than driving in traffic. That's good. Okay, now, what are the bad things? Well, many people use it. Sometimes you can't find a seat on the subway. So it can be very crowded. Right. You also need to walk or take a bus after the subway ride. Hey, girls. Hi, Max. You are late. What took you so long? My car wouldn't start. Oh, no. Too bad we don't have public transportation in small town. Yeah. I had to use the traditional way of traveling. The traditional way? What is that? Walking. Four. Listen and practice. Are you still hungry? Not really. I am getting full. Well, try this. It's delicious. All right. You do cook delicious food, Max. I know. I love international food. So where is this from? Just try it. Uh, no thanks. It looks kind of strange. No, it doesn't. It looks good. What are those green things? They are green onions. What are the long things? Those are noodles. Here, try some. Oh, no thanks. Oh, come on. This is a taste test. Is this dish from Italy? I love Italian food. No, it's a Chinese dish. Really? It doesn't look like a Chinese dish. Well, what does a Chinese dish look like? Not like this. Max, you try it first. Uh, maybe I can cook something else. Are you still hungry? Not really. I am getting full. Well, try this. It's delicious. All right. You do cook delicious food, Max. I know. I love international food. So where is this from? Just try it. Uh, no thanks. It looks kind of strange. No, it doesn't. It looks good. What are those green things? They are green onions. What are the long things? Those are noodles. Here, try some. Oh, no thanks. Oh, come on. This is a taste test. Is this dish from Italy? I love Italian food. No, it's a Chinese dish. Really? It doesn't look like a Chinese dish. Well, what does a Chinese dish look like? Not like this. Max, you try it first. Uh, maybe I can cook something else. Are you still hungry? Not really. I am getting full. Well, try this. It's delicious. All right. You do cook delicious food, Max. I know. I love international food. So where is this from? Just try it. Uh, no thanks. It looks kind of strange. No, it doesn't. 
It looks good. What are those green things? They are green onions. What are the long things? Those are noodles. Here, try some. Oh, no thanks. Oh, come on. This is a taste test. Is this dish from Italy? I love Italian food. No, it's a Chinese dish. Really? It doesn't look like a Chinese dish. Well, what does a Chinese dish look like? Not like this. Max, you try it first. Uh, maybe I can cook something else. Five. Listen and practice. What a great afternoon. I love summer. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I am happy. I love summer. And I love hot weather. What are you doing? I'm enjoying a summer afternoon. Okay. Are you selling something? Oh, yes. I am. Do you want a drink? Sure. What is it? It's lemonade. It's just water and lemons. Only water and lemons? Oh, and sugar. The drink is sweet. I like sweet drinks. Can I have some? Sure. So, what do you think? I like it. Can I have some more? Sure. Do you have a dollar? Yes, I do. Your first glass is free. The second glass is one dollar. You have a good business here, Sarah. I'm learning. Do you like iced tea? Yes, that's good too. Then come back tomorrow. Do you want another glass of lemonade? Yes, please. That's another dollar. I love summer. <laughs> I'm back. I'm glad. Your iced tea is great. Can I have some more, please? Sure. Are you getting many customers today? No, but that's okay. Wait, someone is coming. Really? Who is it? Hello, friends. How are you today? I'm great, Hugh. How are you? I'm wonderful. What are you selling? I'm selling iced tea today. Do you want a glass? Your first glass is free. I like that price. One glass, please. Here you go. Thank you. This is good. Where do you buy your tea? I buy it at the store. Why? Why? Things in stores can be expensive. I know. Can I get cheap tea? Sure. You can shop on the internet. This book can help you. Let me guess. Are you selling this book? Yes, I am. Shop on the internet? How can this book help Sarah? She can shop for tea on the internet. This is the book for you, Sarah. Shop on the internet. It's fun and easy. So, Hugh, why should I buy this book? It's really useful. But is it helpful for Sarah? Sarah has a new store. She needs to buy things. I don't have a store. I'm just selling drinks. Well, 
you can still buy your supplies on the internet. This book will help you with that. I don't shop on the internet a lot. What is good about it? You can find good deals. I'm not very good at finding deals. You have to search for them. That's true. Simon shops online a lot. He finds good deals. What's the best way to search for them? Where is your computer? I can show you. Okay. Let's go into the house. Let's do some shopping online. Okay. Let's start. Look at this website. It's a shopping page. What are you looking for? Just type in the words. What am I looking for? I don't know. Maybe some new clothes. <clears throat> or something for your business? Okay. How about some lemonade mix? Type lemonade mix right here. Lemonade mix. Okay, now what? Now you see the results of your search. Wow, there are so many results. Look for the best deal. That's right. Look at all the results. Try to find the best price. Here's one. It's only $9.99. That mix only makes 20 cups of lemonade. That's not a good deal. Here's a mix that makes 50 cups. And it's only $8.99. Do you want to buy it? Yes, I'll buy it. Wait, you need a credit card. Oh no, I don't have a credit card. Don't worry. Just cancel your order. Well, I can't buy anything right now. Sure you can. How about this book? What a great afternoon. I love summer. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I am happy. I love summer. And I love hot weather. What are you doing? I'm enjoying a summer afternoon. Okay. Are you selling something? Oh, yes. I am. Do you want a drink? Sure. What is it? It's lemonade. It's just water and lemons. Only water and lemons? Oh, and sugar. The drink is sweet. I like sweet drinks. Can I have some? Sure. So, what do you think? I like it. Can I have some more? Sure. Do you have a dollar? Yes, I do. Your first glass is free. The second glass is one dollar. You have a good business here, Sarah. I'm learning. Do you like iced tea? Yes, that's good too. Then come back tomorrow. Do you want another glass of lemonade? Yes, please. That's another dollar. I love summer. <laughs> I'm back. I'm glad. Your iced tea is great. Can I have some more, please? Sure. Are you getting many customers today? No, but that's okay. Wait, someone is coming. Really? Who is it? Hello, friends. How are you today? I'm great, Hugh. How are you? I'm wonderful. What are you selling? I'm selling iced tea today. Do you want a glass? Your first glass is free. I like that price. One glass, please. Here you go. Thank you.
This is good. Where do you buy your tea? I buy it at the store. Why? Why? Things in stores can be expensive. I know. Can I get cheap tea? Sure. You can shop on the internet. This book can help you. Let me guess. Are you selling this book? Yes, I am. Shop on the internet? How can this book help Sarah? She can shop for tea on the internet. This is the book for you, Sarah. Shop on the internet. It's fun and easy. So, Hugh, why should I buy this book? It's really useful. But is it helpful for Sarah? Sarah has a new store. She needs to buy things. I don't have a store. I'm just selling drinks. Well, you can still buy your supplies on the internet. This book will help you with that. I don't shop on the internet a lot. What is good about it? You can find good deals. I'm not very good at finding deals. You have to search for them. That's true. Simon shops online a lot. He finds good deals. What's the best way to search for them? Where is your computer? I can show you. Okay. Let's go into the house. Let's do some shopping online. Okay. Let's start. Look at this website. It's a shopping page. What are you looking for? Just type in the words. What am I looking for? I don't know. Maybe some new clothes. <clears throat> Or something for your business? Okay. How about some lemonade mix? Type lemonade mix right here. Lemonade mix. Okay, now what? Now you see the results of your search. Wow, there are so many results. Look for the best deal. That's right. Look at all the results. Try to find the best price. Here's one. It's only $9.99. But that mix only makes 20 cups of lemonade. That's not a good deal. Here's a mix that makes 50 cups, and it's only $8.99. Do you want to buy it? Yes, I'll buy it. Wait, you need a credit card. Oh, no. I don't have a credit card. Don't worry. Just cancel your order. Well, I can't buy anything right now. Sure you can. How about this book? What a great afternoon. I love summer. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I am happy. I love summer. And I love hot weather. What are you doing? I'm enjoying a summer afternoon. Okay. Are you selling something? Oh. Yes, I am. Do you want a drink? Sure. What is it? It's lemonade. It's just water and lemons. Only water and lemons? Oh, and sugar. The drink is sweet. I like sweet drinks. Can I have some? Sure. So? What do you think? I like it. Can I have some more? Sure. Do you have a dollar? Yes, I do. Your first glass is free. The second glass is one dollar. 
You have a good business here, Sarah. I'm learning. Do you like iced tea? Yes, that's good too. Then come back tomorrow. Do you want another glass of lemonade? Yes, please. That's another dollar. I love summer. <laughs> I'm back. I'm glad. Your iced tea is great. Can I have some more, please? Sure. Are you getting many customers today? No, but that's okay. Wait, someone is coming. Really? Who is it? Hello, friends. How are you today? I'm great, Hugh. How are you? I'm wonderful. What are you selling? I'm selling iced tea today. Do you want a glass? Your first glass is free. I like that price. One glass, please. Here you go. Thank you. This is good. Where do you buy your tea? I buy it at the store. Why? Why? Things in stores can be expensive. I know. Can I get cheap tea? Sure. You can shop on the internet. This book can help you. Let me guess. Are you selling this book? Yes, I am. Shop on the internet? How can this book help Sarah? She can shop for tea on the internet. This is the book for you, Sarah. Shop on the internet. It's fun and easy. So, Hugh, why should I buy this book? It's really useful. But is it helpful for Sarah? Sarah has a new store. She needs to buy things. I don't have a store. I'm just selling drinks. Well, you can still buy your supplies on the internet. This book will help you with that. I don't shop on the internet a lot. What is good about it? You can find good deals. I'm not very good at finding deals. You have to search for them. That's true. Simon shops online a lot. He finds good deals. What's the best way to search for them? Where is your computer? I can show you. Okay. Let's go into the house. Let's do some shopping online. Okay. Let's start. Look at this website. It's a shopping page. What are you looking for? Just type in the words. What am I looking for? I don't know. Maybe some new clothes. <clears throat> or something for your business? Okay. How about some lemonade mix? Type lemonade mix right here. Lemonade mix. Okay, now what? Now you see the results of your search. Wow, there are so many results. Look for the best deal. That's right. Look at all the results. Try to find the best price. Here's one. It's only $9.99. That mix only makes 20 cups of lemonade. That's not a good deal. Here's a mix that makes 50 cups. And it's only $8.99. Do you want to buy it? Yes, I'll buy it. Wait, you need a credit card. Oh no, I don't have a credit card. Don't worry. Just cancel your order. Well, I can't buy anything right now. Sure you can. 
How about this book? Six. Listen and practice. One. Hi, Sarah. Are you watching World Traveler? Yes. Today's show is about subways around the world. Oh, which one are they talking about now? They are talking about the Paris subway. What are they saying about it? Paris's subway is more than 100 years old. Wow, that's old. Yes, it is. Is the Paris subway good? Yes, it's convenient. Every building in the city is close to a subway station. That's great. Is it expensive?、Mm, I don't know. One ride costs 1.40 euros. That's not bad. That's about two dollars. Oh, they are talking about Tokyo subway now. Wow, the Tokyo subway is nice. They have 282 stations, and the trains are really clean. Yes. Now I am wondering about other cities' subways. Go on the internet. You can read more about subways around the world. Then I can write a report about them. Good idea. Two. Thanks for coming over, Renee. No problem. So you need help with your report? Yes, I'm writing a report about public transportation in big cities. Cool. How can I help? You're from Chicago. Did you use public transportation there? Yes, I used it all the time. Great. Tell me about it. When I lived in Chicago, I took the subway to work. It's the third busiest subway in America. I read about it. <laughs> yes. And people called it the L. Interesting. Do you like public transportation? Well, there are good things and bad things about it. What are the good things? Public transportation is convenient. Chicago's L has 144 stations. I took the subway all over the city. London subway has even more stations. It has 275 stations. Wow, that is really convenient. Public transportation is also cheap. You really don't need to drive a car. So you also save money, right? Because you don't need to pay for gas. You can also save time when you use public transportation. Sometimes taking the subway is faster than driving in traffic. That's good. Okay, now. What are the bad things? Well, many people use it. Sometimes you can't find a seat on the subway, so it can be very crowded. Right. You also need to walk or take a bus after the subway ride. Hey, girls. Hi, Max. You are late. What took you so long? My car wouldn't start. Oh no. Too bad we don't have public transportation in small town. Yeah, I had to use the traditional way of traveling. The traditional way? What is that? Walking. One. Hi, Sarah. Are you watching World Traveler? Yes. Today's show is about subways around the world. Oh, which one are they talking about now? They are talking about the Paris subway. What are they saying about it? Paris's subway is more than 100 years old. Wow, that's old. Yes, it is. Is the Paris subway good? Yes, it's convenient. Every building in the city is close to a subway station. That's great. Is it expensive?、Mm, I don't know. One ride costs 1.40 euros. That's not bad. That's about two dollars. Oh, they are talking about Tokyo subway now. 
Wow, the Tokyo subway is nice. They have 282 stations, and the trains are really clean. Yes. Now I am wondering about other cities' subways. Go on the internet. You can read more about subways around the world. Then I can write a report about them. Good idea. Two. Thanks for coming over, Renee. No problem. So you need help with your report? Yes. I'm writing a report about public transportation in big cities. Cool. How can I help? You're from Chicago. Did you use public transportation there? Yes, I used it all the time. Great. Tell me about it. When I lived in Chicago, I took the subway to work. It's the third busiest subway in America. I read about it. <laughs> yes, and people called it the L. Interesting. Do you like public transportation? Well, there are good things and bad things about it. What are the good things? Public transportation is convenient. Chicago's L has 144 stations. I took the subway all over the city. London subway has even more stations. It has 275 stations. Wow, that is really convenient. Public transportation is also cheap. You really don't need to drive a car. So you also save money. Right, because you don't need to pay for gas. You can also save time when you use public transportation. Sometimes. Taking the subway is faster than driving in traffic. That's good. Okay. Now, what are the bad things? Well, many people use it. Sometimes you can't find a seat on the subway, so it can be very crowded. Right. You also need to walk or take a bus after the subway ride. Hey, girls. Hi, Max. You are late. What took you so long? My car wouldn't start. Oh no! Too bad we don't have public transportation in small town. Yeah, I had to use the traditional way of traveling. The traditional way? What is that? Walking. One. Hi, Sarah. Are you watching World Traveler? Yes. Today's show is about subways around the world. Oh, which one are they talking about now? They are talking about the Paris subway. What are they saying about it? Paris's subway is more than 100 years old. Wow, that's old. Yes, it is. Is the Paris subway good? Yes, it's convenient. Every building in the city is close to a subway station. That's great. Is it expensive?、Mm, I don't know. One ride costs 1.40 euros. That's not bad. That's about two dollars. Oh, they are talking about Tokyo subway now. Wow, the Tokyo subway is nice. They have 282 stations, and the trains are really clean. Yes. Now I am wondering about other cities' subways. Go on the internet. You can read more about subways around the world. Then I can write a report about them. Good idea. Two. Thanks for coming over, Renee. No problem. So you need help with your report? Yes, I'm writing a report about public transportation in big cities. Cool. How can I help? You're from Chicago. Did you use public transportation there? Yes, I used it all the time. Great. Tell me about it. When I lived in Chicago, I took the subway to work. It's the third busiest subway in America. I read about it. <laughs> yes. And people called it the L. Interesting. 
Do you like public transportation? Well, there are good things and bad things about it. What are the good things? Public transportation is convenient. Chicago's L has 144 stations. I took the subway all over the city. London subway has even more stations. It has 275 stations. Wow, that is really convenient. Public transportation is also cheap. You really don't need to drive a car. So you also save money. Right, because you don't need to pay for gas. You can also save time when you use public transportation. Sometimes taking the subway is faster than driving in traffic. That's good. Okay, now what are the bad things? Well, many people use it. Sometimes you can't find a seat on the subway. So it can be very crowded. Right. You also need to walk or take a bus after the subway ride. Hey girls. Hi Max. You are late. What took you so long? My car wouldn't start. Oh no. Too bad we don't have public transportation in small town. Yeah. I had to use the traditional way of traveling. The traditional way? What is that? Walking. Seven. Listen and practice. Hi, Claire. How was riding the bus? It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? It only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks. <laughs> Hi, Claire. How was riding the bus? It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? It only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks. <laughs> Hi, Claire. How was riding the bus? It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? It only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks. <laughs> Hi, Claire. How was riding the bus? It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? It only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks. <laughs> Hi, Claire. How was riding the bus? It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? It only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks. <laughs> Hi, Claire. How was riding the bus? It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? It only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks. <laughs> Hi, Claire. How was riding the bus? It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? 
it only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks. <laughs>《Hi Claire, how was riding the bus?》It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? It only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks. <laughs> Hi Claire, how was riding the bus? It was easy. Catching the bus and transferring was no problem. How long did it take to get to school? It only took 30 minutes. When I drive, it sometimes takes longer than that. So will you ride the bus all the time now? Yes, I will. For the next two weeks.